Mono. We're over something marsh. I can't think of the first name of it. Rammy Marsh. It's in the Lee Valley. And uh, if you travelled up to the right hand side, you'll come to Fisher's Green. This is the one that's closer to um, Wolf Mabby. And it's called Suffolk Marsh, and I can't think what the other thing is. Suffolk Marsh. I can't keep calling it Suffolk Marsh, now can I? Uh, what can we say? Must be a concrete there, look at that. It's like a keystone or something. So your car, your engine is good. It's very clean. Uh, 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 did I say Remy Marsh, didn't I? What possessed me to say Remy Marsh? I don't know. But it's not called Remy Marsh. You are here, it says. Am I? Middle of nowhere. Oh my god. Right, let's go find out the name of this place, shall we? I won't be out to sleep tonight otherwise. Hooks Marsh. Remy Marsh. With Remy Marsh. This is Hooks Marsh. Okay. And uh, this is a relief channel. And as you can see, it's a bit of a, a bit of a frosty one this morning. Well, it's not exactly frosty, but it's cold. And uh, as always, dressed most appropriately. It's uh, four and a half, five Celsius at the moment. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And uh, I've not been around this way for such a long time because basically it's a long walk. I'm not quite sure what they're doing over here. Obviously, the screens are there to stop people looking in. <laughs> As if that's going to work. This, the um, relief channel, is the overspill that comes from the weir further down that we see uh, on the Adventures of Max oh, a few months ago. And uh, we're going to get so much water in there, the canal can't take it. So, years and years ago, they extended the River Lee, the actual River Lee, into this, which is a relief channel, because it relieves the flow of water. Quite clever, really, eh? You've got this little tiny part of the country, you've got a relief channel, which is artificial. And you've got the canal, which is artificial. And in between that, you've actually got the River Lee. I do believe that's sourced up in Hartford. I'm not quite sure, though. Over the back there, there's a house. And he's got a garden. You can't really see it in this weather. But he's got a garden to die for. It is fantastic, I tell you. Absolutely fantastic. This is um, the bridge we were in. I don't know, I suppose you saw the bridge, did you? No, you didn't see the bridge. But we've come over a bridge to walk around this way, and that's 100 Acres Lake. Big pterodactyl just gone past there. Heron. What are you doing, Mr. Max? I say, I haven't walked around here for absolutely positively ages. Might do this in two or three parts, actually. Um, we're coming up to the winter. We're 18th of October 2022, it's Tuesday. And it's my boy's 21st, no, 22nd, where well, he's getting old. 22nd birthday tomorrow on the 19th. So, it should be okay. We're sorry, 22 again. God, there are more wrens down there. I'm going as fast as I can, mate. Be honest, eh? I'm not exactly jet propelled. As I go around this corner, I don't know what time it is. Yeah, it should be okay. We came up to a new hide. It was built about three years ago. And during the coronavirus nonsense, they uh, had to keep it shut. Such a shame. Weeping Willow. I don't know if you can see that bridge over there. Oh, that's a bridge you drive over. You just about make that bridge out. That's a bridge you drive over to go to Fisher's Green. Another popular place to go fishing. 
lovely weeping willows over here though. Really, really pretty looking. I really do like weeping willows. Now what's he seen? Nothing. Yeah, six eyes on him. Thing is, he's not been here for such a long time. It's all up all sense of smell, it's all different. That's obviously broke off. There's some big trees over here. Very big trees. Sometimes I think, you might dodge your old legs. They walk in this distance, which is twice as far as I normally walk. I think, what possesses me to walk this far? I'm going to pay for this later. But then again, it's what's inside your head. If you think, oh, pain, pain, oh no, I can't do this, can't do that. It's, you know what I mean? You've got to think, it hurts, so what? Now where are you off to? You just picked up a scent. Uh, it's around there somewhere. Uh, is it squirrels? Is it badgers? Is it fox? Uh, could be another doggy. Ah! Bad boy. Oh, Maximus. Just found a treat. By the time I got to him, that would have been gone anyway. I would have been able to pull that little shrapnel stuff. Shrapnel stuff? Little, little tiny pieces of biscuit. Amazing his nose though, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. I didn't realise how far around the corner this this them hide was. <laughs> I've got to find out later on, haven't I? Go, oh, my hips and my legs, oh, they're killing me. <laughs> no, I don't know. There's somebody coming towards us, another little doggy. Uh, it's a um, spaniel. That's a working dog. Uh, we've probably got a nervous owner. Oh, look at that over there. You'd think that's fantastic, wouldn't you? Over there's a lake. Over the other side's a road. And just over there's Fisher's Green. And from here, it doesn't look like nothing really, does it? Absolutely amazing stuff. Uh, fog's starting to lift, or mist starting to lift. Uh, it's not too bad. Maximus. <coughs> Maxi, sit. Sit. And stay. Good boy, stay. He's very energetic. He wants to play. Max, you stay. Be a good boy. It's a good training thing for him. Won't do him any harm whatsoever. Stay. That's a good boy. That guy's full of energy. And, uh, let's go. Up, good boy. That's a good boy. Plenty of praise. Can you see the lake just over there? I was telling you about a little while ago. <clears throat> uh, tree cuts come over, cut on that big willow down that was over the back there. That's just a big stump now. You can see these break off, don't they? The branches just snap off. Well, now these people know what's going to snap off and what ain't going to snap off. I don't understand it really. If they come over, hit it with an hammer, if they go ding, it's solid, if they go dong, it's empty, so hollow. There's a few willow trees over this side. They uh, actually cut down. There used to be a little pit stop over here, that chair. Well, not our chair, is it, but you know. When you walk around the corner, you think, oh, I can't wait to sit down here and look over the lake. Oh, runny nose. Nothing worse than having a runny nose, you've only got one hand. Uh, should just let it drip, really, shouldn't you? we we get to that tree? No, we're not going to get to that bench. And uh, we'll call this part one. I've got a good feeling about part two coming up. <laughs> So, how are we doing? Oh, there's going to be three big, long, boring films and me rabbit about nothing over the Lee Valley. This river, by the way, it splits. This is like the River Lee, and it finds its way down to that relief channel I told you about earlier. 
and over the back there's another river they splits <clears throat> and they're like both rejoin again and they end up in re the, the uh, release channel all clear of stuff you know big high banks <sighs> a lot of fish in here you don't really see anyone fishing, so I'm not sure whether you're allowed to fish in here. Very, very rare you see people fishing. Very rare. No, I can't sit over here anyway. But you can see in the summer, with a nice dry bench, that's obviously soaking wet. In the summer, you get such a lovely, lovely view though, isn't it, eh? I mean, if you have one of them binocular things, monocular, binocular, whatever you want to call it, and uh, cormorant that was. They must be fantastic. The colours of the trees all, all change in different colours, aren't they? Right then, guys. Have a great day. Maximus, don't go down here. And uh, I'll see you at part two. Bye-bye.